Hello and welcome to another video by Ia's Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix Windows Update. Many of you have been having some issues with Windows Update, and I'm going to show you how you can fix common problems with Windows Update. Uh, a lot of times you'll get like in a cycle an update failed and you just get the same cycle over and over and it gets very annoying. So I'm going to show you how to fix it. Now there are about 60 commands that we need to use to fix Windows Update. Uh, on the screen here now you see all the commands uh, that are used to reset or repair Windows Update. And I've created a batch file for you to download if you want a faster process instead of having to type each and every one of these commands. Now up here, uh, I'll give you a quick view. Here we'll stop the services that involves Windows Update. Next are the, uh, we're going to flush the uh, DNS cache that deals with all your uh, network connections, the internet. Uh, then we're going to delete the uh, uh, the queue uh, for updates that's going to be in queue. Uh, we're going to remove the software distribution directory and what this will do is force Windows Update to create a new uh, catalog. Down here uh, this is going to reset the security descriptors for uh, the background Intelligent Transfer Service, or BITS. Uh, now you're going to do the same thing for the Windows Update, and as you can see the commands are very, very long. This is why I did a batch file to make the process a whole lot quicker. Now uh, you're going to delete the cat, the cat root 2 uh, folder. We're going to delete the pending required. Uh, this is a uh, key that's in the registry that is going to delete and reset it to zero. Uh, down here we have, we're going to change directories and then we have to re-register all of these DLLs or also known as dynamic link libraries. And as you can see there's quite a few. Next you'll do the WinSocket reset. Uh, these, the wind socket is used to establish connections and we're going to have it reset the, uh, the service. Then down here, once we're finished, we're going to restart all the services that we turned off earlier. And then we're going to reset uh, pending operations for all the users. Finally, you'll shut down the computer uh, now this right here, um, I added this uh, to the process because what this does is it logs a note in the event log stating that this was a planned restart or shutdown and I put a note as to why uh, this was a, sh uh, pl a planned shutdown. Now you don't have to type that in there if you don't want to, uh, it's not required. Um, I just do it so if anything ever happens you can always go back and uh, see where the problem started and this will show you at this point in time the computer was uh, doing an update reset. So as you can see there is a lot of commands. But for your benefit I created a batch file that you can all do, uh, download and use. Now to do that you'll need to go on the internet and go to my website at www.4-mrfixit.com You're going to come to the main screen, uh, my welcome screen. Go up here to the top and click on to repairs. Uh, these are all the repairs that I have uploaded to my site. Uh, I'm showing you how to back up files, how to install expansion cards, uh, things of that nature. Um, you're going to see this link right here. It says Wind Repair Windows Update. 
you'll click on that and it's going to bring you to the my uh, Windows Update repair page. This gives you an overview as to what this is about and what all is involved. Uh, these are also some of the error codes that have been common with Windows Update issues. And a lot of times it's because your Windows Update's corrupted or it's got some missing components and so on and so on. So what we're going to do is you'll see the two download links. I am working on Windows 10. I just don't have it done yet. But you do have a 32-bit and a 64-bit version. Now this will work on both Windows 7 and Windows 8. Now if you're not sure if you have a 32 or a 64, if you on Windows 7 if you click your start control panel uh, if you have categories go to system and security and then go to system and this will show you which um, operating system you have if it's a 32 or a 64 because you want to make sure you click on the correct one now once you're on the website you can choose which one you want to have so I'm going to go ahead and I want to choose the 64 because that's the one I have. Uh, as you can see over to the lower right it shows you the destination. Uh, it does go to my website to my downloads and that's the name of the file that it's downloading. Now you're going to get the message that will come up. Uh, this is Internet Explorer. If you have Chrome you'll see it in the lower left hand corner. Uh, if you're in Firefox, you're going to see a box pop up that says save file or cancel. Now it's going to ask you uh, to save, run. Do not run the file yet. Just save the file. Now if it comes up with an error message, you'll get something like this. Uh, in Chrome, yeah, you want to make sure that you choose keep. And don't delete it. Uh, if you take action, it's going to want to know what you want to do. Uh, you don't want to run the program yet. What you want to do is go to your downloads folder, go to File Explorer, go to Downloads, and you should see the file listed. Now if you have a 32-bit Windows, uh, it's going to show up as Win78UDR32 or 64, depending on which one you have. Now to get an idea what's in the file, you can choose right-click on it and choose Edit. You'll get this message warning, choose Run, and this will open Notepad. Uh, this is what I was uh, read, it, uh, read it under. And as you can see, it's all the commands that I cr uh, created for you. And there's nothing different than what I showed you except other messages that I've had echoed to the screen for your uh, benefit. Now, in order for this to work, you must run this batch file as an administrator. It will not work unless you do. To do that, right click the file, choose run as administrator. It's going to open a Windows command processor or the command prompt, whichever you prefer to call it. And this is part of user account control. Click yes. Now this is going to show you uh, what's going to take place. Uh, this is the message I installed. Uh, you, you have to run this as the administrator. Uh, this script will only work with uh, Windows 7, 8, and 8.1. I do recommend that you save all your work, uh, close all your windows, and then when you're finished, press ED key to continue. Now as you can see, it's going to follow the process.
Okay, now, once it's finished, uh, you can still see all the, uh, the commands that just ran and shows you what the results were. And everything was a success. Uh, this one here, uh, the reason this error popped up is because this program has already been run. Uh, you don't have to worry about that error message if you already if you if you receive it. It just means that that key uh, that I was looking for wasn't there. If it was, it would have went ahead and deleted it. But I've already ran the. Uh, this program on the computer here because it was having problems. This is why it doesn't show up now. And of course, you know, you're going to uh, reset and uh, everything's been restarted. Now, up here it shows, you know, it's going to be uh, needing to restart. So now, once we are done, we are going to press any key and then it's going to restart the computer and it's going to close anything that you have open. So be sure you do save your work before you do anything else. Once you're done, it's going to tell you that you're going to reset the computer. So in a few seconds, you'll be restarted. Now that your computer has restarted, now you can rerun Windows Update. You want to make sure that you are connected to the internet. Click Start. And then you go under All Programs and you will see uh, Windows Update. Now, I will have a Windows 8 version, um, hopefully sometime down the line, and show you how to exactly do that, but they're basically the same. Uh, you want to go into uh, Windows Update and let it run again. Now, have you noticed anything different? When you run Windows Update again, it's going to think you've never run it before. It's going to be just as if you ran the computer for the very first time. So, what you're going to do is go ahead and click on Check Updates. And what this will do is force Windows Update to create a new catalog and uh, recreate the, uh, the database that it uses to keep track of the updates that are installed on your computer. Now, depending on your internet connection, this could take a little time for it to rebuild the catalog or the database. Now, after some time, uh, you will come back and I'll show you if you, uh, your updates will come back. And right now, I don't have any important updates available. This is just because this has already been run because I had to fix the computer um, not too long ago and I wanted to share with you on how to fix Windows Update. And of course I have three optional options uh, which I don't have to worry about. And once you uh, select your options now you can go back and re try installing your updates again. Well I'm your host Mr. Fix-It, thank you for watching.